King Emmerich said you might be coming. The Imperials are here. Did you know this? The King and his men are preparing for an attack even now. Though they are greatly outnumbered, I think it is good that you are here. Hurry along then. You will find the King just up the road. I am going to scale this wall and try to get more details on the Imperials' defenses. I will join you shortly. Now, I almost feel sorry for the Imperials. Almost. I was wondering when you'd wander up. I knew you wouldn't let me get all the glory. Of course, I wouldn't have wanted to take any action until you were with us regardless, but I like to pretend. Anyhow, how in oblivion are you? I feel strong. I'm ready to spill some Imperial blood. This will be remembered as the place where the Imperials made their last stand in Bankorai. Despite my advisor's concerns, I decided I had to be here and lead the charge myself. Ha! Are you trying to coddle me now, too? I command you, put aside your concerns. This isn't even going to be a real contest. Each of my soldiers can take ten of theirs, and you can take a hundred. So, can we get on with this? All right, everyone. This is it. No one is allowed to die until they've taken down at least a dozen enemies. Kill as many as you can. The only exception is the Major's General. She's mine. And mine alone. Good speech, Emmerich. I can't believe you still fancy me after all these years. Let's get reacquainted then, shall we? Overconfident as ever, I see. I'm not afraid of you, Septima. To arms! Defend the King! You will not! I think we need to spend some alone time, Emmerich. Come, let's find a quiet place. Zet's tears! What has befallen? Who has slain everyone? Where's the king? Oh, merciful Mara. Please say this isn't so. I knew the king should not have come. Why should he risk his life this way? What will we do now? Someone has to go after him. No, I mean, I have scouted out all this area from the ridges above. The Imperial encampment is just over the hill, and then this temple, the Hall of Heroes, it goes on forever. She might have taken the king anywhere in all that space. The encampment. There has been much activity there in recent days. The Imperials have been going in and out of the temple. I have even seen the Magus General herself. Perhaps if you search the encampment, you will find some evidence of her plan. You are a brave soul to go after the King on your own. I applaud your courage. I will go to Evermore to request additional support. Then I will return. May Ruptga and all the gods be with you until then. None, save that they are very well dug in. I would guess that they have been here for several weeks, making preparations for something significant. Most of the Imperial soldiers are in the encampment. I think there are Daedra in the temple itself. The Hall of Heroes? Oh, it is very, very old, and no one even uses it anymore. Heroes today are entombed at Tuwaka's throne or Motalian Necropolis. But long ago, this is where great heroes like Frondar Hunding and Makella Leki were buried. The Keeper said it should belong to the gods themselves, that mortals were never truly welcome here. Perhaps so. Legends always suggested it was a place where planes collide, where worthy Redguard souls came to make the journey to the far shores.
Halls of the Gods or Halls of the Dead? Which is it? Is there a difference? Look, another live one. Oh, sorry. I should speak more quietly. Don't want to disturb the dead or the Daedra crawling all over this place. I find them very distasteful. Not right for this place. Not right at all. Me? I'm the Keeper of the Hall. I am guardian of the gate between here and there, between this place and the next. The living don't belong here. I'm supposed to keep them out, but I seem to have failed at that. Yes, especially that cruel, twisted lady Septima Thon, I believe she is called. She has broken all the rules. I told her as much I did, but she would not listen. When she leaves, I do not think I will invite her to come back. She's in the Chamber of Passage, but it is a forbidden place. You must get special allowances to go there. This is the Heroes' Hall. You will have to convince them to let you pass. Oh, they're scattered all over this place, everywhere. Getting them to talk is the hard part. They're quiet types. Been dead for centuries. Friend our hunding might listen. You'll just have to do some convincing. You have Tuaka's blessing, though. I hope Frandar lets you pass. I also hope he has more clarity than I do. I wonder why anyone would want to visit the Chamber of Passage, or even the Far Shores. Aren't there some shores you could visit a little closer to home? Do I live here? That is a strange choice of words. Yes, indeed. As I said, this place is not for the living. It is the dead who actually live here. I simply watch over the place. I go back and forth between here and there. If we knew that, then presumably we could force her to leave. That would save us all a lot of trouble, would it not? That would certainly be nice. It is not as far as it sounds, but you do have to die to get there. It is where mortal souls are supposed to go when they pass from this plane. Not all souls find their way, of course, but some of them do not belong anyways. You understand. I know you, your spirit, but you belong in this place no more than the others, the invaders. Why do you come here? Why do you disturb my rest? Of all the places in this temple you do not belong, it is there you belong the least. But I sense that where the others have come to violate the chamber's sanctity, you have come to restore it. I will give you my blessing. If you prove worthy. The invaders have taken my scrolls. Four sacred writings from the Book of Circles. They describe the principles one must master in the various seasons of life. Recover the scrolls, place them on the appropriate pedestals, and earn my blessing.
The scrolls speak of the principles of wisdom, discipline, sacrifice, and devotion. And the seasons of life in which I master these principles. Place them in the proper order in which they were mastered. Look to the passing of time, to the order of the sun, stars, and moon for understanding. Now you must seek my son spirit. Speak to Divad. Sense great determination in you, living one. But very few of the living are foolish enough to trespass in these hallowed halls. Even fewer are foolish enough to seek entrance into the Chamber of Passage. This is your intention, though, is it not? And you have already achieved in life that which gave me great difficulty. My father's influence, though, was only one aspect of what guided my life's purpose. In truth, it was my mother's role the sacrifice she made that defined my destiny. When Emperor Hira's soldiers came to arrest me, they struck my mother and she was slain. It wasn't until that moment I embraced the way of the sword. To earn my blessing, light the braziers in the chamber above in the colors to honor her sacrifice. You'll find the braziers are already lit. You must simply cycle through the colors on each brazier to match the memory of my mother's final moments. It's getting the colors in the correct order that matters. Turn and observe the moment of my mother's sacrifice. Remember it as I do. Take it into your heart and light the fires of my memory. my blessing. Now you must seek out Makela Leki. It takes a brave soldier to enter the Chamber of Passage, but courage alone is not what defines a warrior. One has already breached the Chamber without my blessing, but you come behind seeking just that, do you not? And by seeking our blessing, you show that you deserve such an honor. The one who breached the Chamber, this Septima Tharn, she has strength, courage, and even wisdom, but she lacks an essential quality of a true Onsei. The answer is the key to my blessing. You will find several impressive swords in this chamber, 
They are only symbols of ideals. But bring me the blade a true sword singer would wield, and I will grant you entrance to the Chamber of Passage. You must think as Swordsinger would. Which blade would be most suitable for a warrior who has achieved mastery of his or her technique? Very well then. Which blade is it? Well done. A true Swordsinger would select the training sword because it is the swordsman, not the sword that matters. You understand true humility. You have my blessing. You may enter the Chamber of Passage. Who's in charge here? You! You've earned the blessings of the heroes, but blessings will only get you through the door. Are you really ready for what lies on the other side? Something that no mortal has ever seen. Until that nasty woman went in there, of course. And who knows what she might have done to the place. I guess you'll be finding out soon enough, though. The real mystery is what's a woman like that wanting to do in a place like this? She has a prisoner, but the Chamber of Passage is not a place for holding someone, it's a place for sending someone on. To the far shores, of course. This is it. This is the path the souls of heroes take to move on to the afterlife, as some call it. Souls used to be flying through here all the time. Guess there just aren't as many heroes anymore. <laughs> <laughs> 